Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Discovering Compute Resources and Assigning Cost. During this demo, we're going to show you how the vCloud Administrator configures the system to discover compute resources and then assigns costs to these resources. These costs will be used throughout vCloud Automation Center to provide cost transparency as well as chargeback and cost savings reporting. The first step is to configure the management endpoints that vCloud Automation Center will use to discover and manage the underlying virtual, physical, and public cloud resources. Then once the compute resources have been discovered, the next step is to assign the cost of the CPU, memory, and storage resources. So let's get started with the demo. vCloud Automation Center discovers and manages the underlying compute fabric through the device manager that manages those resources. To communicate with these device managers, the administrator defines a managed endpoint for each virtual, physical, or public cloud device manager. Our demo administrator has already configured managed endpoints for a number of physical servers, Amazon and VMware vClouds, and vSphere. vCloud Automation Center provides two methods for adding managed endpoints. They can be defined using the administrator's GUI, or they can be imported in bulk from a CSV file. The bulk import is useful if you have a large number of physical servers, each with their own managed endpoint. In this demo, we're going to show you what information is provided in the endpoint configuration by editing an existing vSphere endpoint. Although there are slight differences in the information that needs to be supplied to each endpoint type, they essentially contain the same information, which includes the endpoint name, description, address of where the management endpoint is located, and the credentials used to communicate with the endpoint. For example, on VMware vSphere, vCloud Automation Center would discover and manage through vCenter. To enable management, the vCenter administrator adds a managed endpoint with the appropriate location and credentials needed to access each vCenter instance. This information is stored encrypted in the Automation Center repository. Once the vCenter management endpoint is defined, Automation Center initiates ongoing discovery to identify the available resources, existing virtual machines, and their associated policies like clone templates and customization specifications. To manage other virtual resources, the administrator just needs to add endpoints for the respective VMware, Microsoft, and Citrix device manager. Automation Center will discover and manage resources that have been configured by those device managers. Discovery and management of physical resources is similar to your virtual infrastructure. Automation Center manages through the physical server device manager, and after the management endpoint is defined, the physical resources, including the machines that have already been provisioned and their respective policies, are discovered. Discovering public cloud resources is very similar to discovering virtual or physical compute resources. You define the management endpoint, which in our example is either VMware vCloud Director or Amazon AWS Manager. vCloud Automation Center then discovers the compute resources and policies associated with those managed endpoints. In the case of VMware vCloud, resources are virtual data centers and software-defined services associated with those virtual data centers. In the case of Amazon Web Services, those resources are geographic regions, availability zones, and their associated policies and services. Now that the discovery has completed, let's look at the compute resources that have been identified and assign costs to those resources so that when they are configured into virtual machine, costs can be proportionally allocated to those systems. By looking at the compute resources display, I can see the resources that are available for use by vCloud Automation Center. This display also shows me the percent of resources that have been already reserved and which of these resources are still available. Note the resources like memory and storage can be over-reserved. That is why you are seeing reservations in excess of 100%. When editing a compute resource, you can change the name, description, location, and other properties, including associating a cost profile. By default, newly discovered resources have no costs associated with them. I can select from existing cost profiles that I have already created, or I can create new cost profiles. For now, let's select an existing cost profile. 
When I select the cost profile, the CPU, storage, and memory costs specified in the profile are now associated with that host or host cluster. By default, all storage paths will have the same cost. However, it is possible to edit each storage path separately to assign a unique storage cost profile. One of the most common questions we get is, how do I know what cost to add to my profiles? The good news is that we have a tool to help you determine what these costs should be, but that's a topic for another demo. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.